Because the idea is I want to get, obviously, TJ in the picture. And um, I want to make sure that everybody's a part of this. So if everybody's standing in the doorway, just please come on over here. The other reason is because the speaker is on the floor, so I want to make sure everybody can hear me. So first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming out today. Um, honestly, Lindsay asked me to say a few words, and I did not know I was saying all the words. So I apologize if I don't do TJ enough justice right now. So I'm going to try my best to at least talk a little bit about who he was to me. So first of all, I want to thank everybody that has donated to the GoFundMe. Um, I was blown away by the support from each and every one of y'all and everybody who's watching on the live stream. You know, when, when she first posted that GoFundMe, I was, I was concerned because a lot of those GoFundMes, people don't share them, people don't donate, and um, thankfully you guys did. You guys came through, and it, it really does mean the world to, to Lindsay, the family, and I know that, uh, yeah, seriously, give yourselves a round of applause for that. And it doesn't end there, so please, if you can continue to give, those bills are not going to stop coming in. So if you can continue to give just because she hit that, that amount, please do. Every dollar counts. Um, secondly, I want to thank everybody who bought one of the Remember TJ and the 4TJ stickers. I, Christy and I were trying to figure out ways that we could help. You know, we're feeling kind of helpless when you lose your, your pretty much best friend. And, you know, we just want to do our best to try and help. And um, thankfully, through you guys' support again, um, I was able to, we were able to raise over $1,000 selling stickers. So seriously, thank you all. I hope that uh, those of you who do have them, please tag TJ, share them. I'm going to put together every picture that you guys share and uh, put together some kind of a slideshow, collage, whatever it may be. But if you guys want any of those stickers afterwards, just come see me or Chrissy. TJ's boss, I apologize, I don't know your name. Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy also made up some stickers with TJ's face on it. So if you want TJ's face on your bumper, please grab one of those stickers. Um, I mean, they're, they're really beautiful. So um, grab one of those stickers. So the idea is after I'm done speaking and if Lindsay has something to say, come up, sign this banner. Um, they already signed the one side. I don't know if it matters if everybody signs the same side or not. Um, but please come up, sign the banner. Jimmy said it was cool and then grab one of those stickers that he made up so that way you can take that with you. And then of course, everybody who's been watching the video that I made, I loaded that video up with ads on purpose so that way every time somebody watches it, every time somebody likes it, comments on it, it's gonna generate more money every single month. So please share that video, watch that video. Every single month I'm sending money to Lindsay to help her out and it's gonna come from all of y'all. So it's not from me, I'm watching as much as I can. I'm gonna keep watching, I'm gonna keep sharing it. I'm going to ask y'all to do the same. I know after a couple of weeks, things have already moved back on to normal life. TJ's not coming back, so we need to do this for him and for his family. So please, continue to share it. Continue to like it. Just just watch it every single day if you could. And if you can't take watching all of the pictures and watching a 40-minute video, just press start, mute your tab, and put it in the background and just let it roll so that way it'll collect some money so that way it can go to Lindsay and her family. So. But as far as all of the fundraising, uh, thank you all so much. We are planning something in two weeks. So we'll send out that information to everybody. We'll tag TJ, so just continue to pay attention to his Facebook page. I put together a group or something so everybody can be a part of that. And then come out, we're gonna try and raise some more money for uh, Lindsay and the family and for the expenses. So when we do that, please, please, again, share it. Uh, try to come out, try to support, and whatever you can do to help is greatly appreciated. So aside from all the fundraising, all of the money stuff, all of the stickers and videos, I wanted to start off by just talking about how I met TJ, because um, it really does say a lot about who he was. I didn't know TJ when, uh, when I first friended him. Mutual friends on Facebook back then, it was kind of like you knew him, you friended him, and that was it. And you just met people that way, and, and it didn't matter if you actually knew him in real life. It was, you know, getting friends. And one day I posted I needed help, and TJ was right there, and he said, bring her on by. And uh, I was like, all right, I'm not going to turn down free help. So I went over and he looked at my car and he told me what was wrong. And it was something simple and he helped me fix it. And that was it. It was kind of like, all right, this strange guy that I don't even know helped me out, but he was cool. And then a couple of days later, he posted and he said, I need help. Somebody come by. It'll only take a couple of minutes. And I said, um, you know what? I, I'd be kind of a jerk if I didn't go and help him, even though I had something going on. I don't even remember what it is right now. 
I, uh, I messaged him. I said, look, I got somewhere to be, but I'll be there. I showed up, helped him take the hood off his Durango. He was pulling a motor that night. And uh, he was like, you didn't have to do that, man. I, I understand you have plans. Don't worry about it. You know, you didn't have to come by. And I said, you know, that's just how I am. You helped me out. I'm not going to turn my back on you. I mean, at the time, nobody else commented. Nobody else helped. So I stepped up and I said, you know what? I can put five minutes of my time to help out somebody who took 10 minutes out of theirs. And from that moment on, it was just as if we were best friends. He, I mean, I don't know if it was because my cars kept breaking down or not, but <laughs> he was always there to help me. And um, he banned a couple of vehicles that he never worked, wanted to work on again. So um, some of those, we had an inside joke. I saw on a YouTube video, it was only two bolts to fix something, and we spent six hours trying to get it done. So two bolts was our running joke in the garage, even if it was uh, an all-day affair. And... Um, that was just one of the things about TJ that I loved, that that man would never say no. He would always help, no matter what it was. If I asked him in the middle of the night, hey, I need your help, can you come pick me up? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, he did. I was stranded at the Honda dealership and my starter went up. I don't even know why I parked at the Honda dealership at night. I just parked and, and called him up and I was like, I, I'm stuck. He rolled under my car, which one of the pictures in the slideshow, I think. I know it's in my slideshow. He rolled underneath of the car, he replaced the starter. We were out there for two hours. And he said, I'm not working on this damn thing ever again. And it was back in his garage two weeks later, and we were doing something to it. But that was just TJ. Every time I needed his help, he was always there, no matter what. And the only exception was when he had Taylor. Whenever he had Taylor, he would tell me, I'll, I'll see you on Sunday. When, when Taylor gets picked up, bring her on by. And that was the rule. And I knew it because I have my own daughter that I saw on the weekends, and I, I know how important that time was. So anytime we, we, we would coordinate weekends, I think we had opposite weekends, I don't know. But we, uh, we knew if, if I had Lexi, he would come on by, hang out. Otherwise, I would see him Sunday night and we would work on whatever was going on in that garage. You know, one of the things of all the times working in the garage with TJ, he talked to me one night and he said, you know, the reason that I really like that I have you here with me is because I'm afraid to work in the garage by myself. And I, it kind of like took me back because I've never heard him talk like that. And he said that he was so worried about something happening if he was alone, because if he was out in the garage, it's detached. You can't see it, you know, you can't hear what's going on from the house. So he would always tell me, he's like, I, I really need somebody here because I'm worried if something's gonna happen, nobody's gonna know about it. I don't know if a jack stand's gonna go out on me or something, but I need somebody in the garage with me because I just can't work, work by myself. So anytime that he had to do something and it was urgent, he would just ask me, he's like, can you please come over? And I would go. And, um, you know, thankfully, Chrissy had the patience to, you know, let me just go running out and, you know, in a moment's notice and say, TJ needs my help, I gotta go. And it was, you know, maybe the stupidest thing that he needed to put in some HIDs or, or change out a, a turn signal or something. But he just wanted somebody in the garage with him. So that way he, he had somebody there in case something happened. The, the one memory that I'm always gonna have of TJ, he went shopping and found these bargain bin DVDs that he would play in the garage every time we worked on something. And the first couple of times, I thought it was kind of strange that we were watching movies from like the 90s, like Fat Boys Disorderlies, and we're watching We're the Millers, and his favorite two, National Lampoon's Vegas Vacation and National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And we would literally start quoting the movie after a couple of weeks, and when the movie ended, we knew, hit stop, hit stop, hit play, and it would start all over again, and we would start watching the same movie, and it didn't matter if we were all day from sun up to sundown. We spent every hour in that garage watching one of those bargain bin DVDs, and it was literally the most amazing time with that man, and I, I'm always gonna think about that. You know, something as cheesy as watching bargain bin DVDs with my buddy TJ, and that's one of my most favorite memories that I have with that man. So aside from that, um, you know, I'm pretty sure that everybody has their own story with TJ. If you don't, you know, I, I can't be more empathetic because he was an awesome person, not just as a friend, as a father, but just as a person. That, that man just was so giving, no matter who it was, no matter what it was. If he called in the middle of the night and said, I needed you, I'd drop anything and I would go. Same thing he would do for me. And I don't have that out of many other people. And I don't know of many other people who have that person in their lives. But, you know, when I heard that, that TJ was in surgery, I was worried that, you know, I may, I may have talked to him every day in, 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 on Messenger in a group chat, 
but I, I didn't think I was going to see him again that day, and I was kind of numb until about midnight, and that's when I finally got up the nerve to at least make a post so I could remember that day for the rest of my life and, and at least celebrate that man. Um, so as cheesy as it may be to get a reminder every year, although I'm not going to forget 2020, I'm sure most of y'all aren't either, this is just another one of the, the, uh, the things that I wish didn't happen. I don't know any other better way to explain it. I, um, I honestly didn't know what I was going to say today. I wrote up two pages worth of stuff, and I figured if I just sat here and read to you guys, it wouldn't be as heartfelt, even though at the time, writing that, shaking, crying, all the emotions, you know, I just don't know if I could say enough great things about this man. And I'm, I'm hoping that you all have just as many great times and memories with him as well to share with your friends and family and keep his memory alive. I, uh, I honestly, since my mother passed, in 2000 I don't do funerals I don't do goodbyes and and when people pass I just try not to even acknowledge it because I, I just can't deal with with death and with losing people and um, the last time that I did this I was for Brian McDevitt and I know I saw some people here that were there for his uh, his funeral he was the same way he was a great guy too and um, his mother asked me to be the pallbearer so when Lindsay asked me to speak to y'all, I, I just felt honored and I appreciated the fact that she thought of me and just the fact that I could at least be here to speak to y'all and share at least a couple of memories of TJ. It means the world to me, so thank you, Lindsay. And I just can't thank everybody enough for coming out tonight, for showing your, your love, for the, the drive-through with the trucks, that was everything. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I don't even know what else to say, honestly. But I just want to say thank you to everyone. Again, just keep, keep sharing that video. Keep supporting Lindsay and the family. That's what is needed right now. So when life turns back to normal, just one day, every now and again, think about TJ and something that you can do to honor his memory, to help out, to contribute, something that you can do. You know, I'll leave it on this note. Today when I woke up, you know, I really didn't feel like doing much of anything knowing what was coming tonight. And I was sitting on the couch with my daughter, and we heard some sirens. And the first thing I thought of, because they were such weird sirens, and I'm going to make the noise because she keeps laughing, it wasn't just regular sirens. It was like, boop, 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 boop. And that's what we kept hearing over and over again. And it was a parade. And I said, you know what? This is probably the most TJ thing that I could do today to start my day off. I'm just going to join the parade and figure out wherever they're going, I'm going to. So we hopped in the parade, and... Uh, it was actually for uh, Mo Gabba, who was just, again, fighting and beating cancer, and he just uh, graduated to uh, middle school. So tons of great things came out of today. Seeing everybody's faces here is amazing. I mean, I could probably say thank you until it gets dark and they kick us out. So I'm just going to leave it with this. Please, again, think about TJ as much as you can. Keep his memory alive. That's the best thing that you can do for TJ. Just seeing his picture every now and again is going to be great. But if you just think about any memory that you had with him, just a conversation, even if it's like with me and Andrew, who unfortunately couldn't be here, so hopefully, Andrew, I'm going to tag you so you can see this. Andrew and TJ and I had our group chat going for as long as I can remember, probably as long as I've known uh, Andrew. Um, he moved up to Maine, and we kept in touch by the group chat. And every single day, we would have a conversation, every day. And our last conversation was on Thursday, and it was about tacos, which... I'm so glad that was our last conversation because every single Tuesday when he was up in Northern Maryland, he'd stop at Sheets and he would grab some tacos. So if you didn't know that already, at least take that memory away with you. So for me, it's not just going to be Taco Tuesday, it's going to be TJ Tuesday. Mm -hmm. So please share that with, with me and with all of his family. So it's going to be uh, Taco Tuesday and TJ Tuesday. And uh, one final thing, we're going to cheers it up to, uh, to TJ. So everybody who does have a drink, whoever snuck a beer in, shame on y'all, but thank you. <laughs> everybody raise your imaginary glasses, and everybody please say for TJ. For TJ. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you. I really appreciate everybody. Everybody, please go inside. Come up to sign the, pay, the uh, banner. Please sign the banner, and then go in and pay your respects. Go say hi to TJ, and then... Uh, we do have the stickers that I mentioned that Jimmy made up, and if you want any of the Remember TJ or For TJ stickers, uh, come see me or Chrissy. All the 100% of everything that you give as a donation goes directly to, to Lindsay for the uh, medical expenses and funeral expenses. 
So thank you all so much. Thank you. Yeah.